Good evening. It's Dr. Ann Zink. Today is January 15th, 2021. Brief update with where we're at with COVID-19 in the state of Alaska. So here you can see our overall cases. We've had a nice downward trend. We're still in that high alert level, however, uh, about 38 cases per 100,000. We have seen a plateau here just a bit recently, so we're hoping to continue to um, do all those important mitigation efforts and get it lower. It just helps to keep everyone healthy and well and moving forward. You can see our percent positivity has been consistently under that uh, 5%. We're at 3.68%. Again, our goal is under 2%, uh, and it's been moving down that direction, so appreciate every Alaskan moving it that way. Also, you can see on that graph with all the dotted lines, that's where Alaska's at compared to other states in the lower 48. Unfortunately, we really are seeing some, some surging of cases in the lower 48, um, but hoping that Alaska can continue to vaccinate quickly as well as uh, keep up those important mitigation efforts to keep our state moving on a downward direction for a number of cases. So where are we at with vaccine? Uh, we are fortunate that we are vaccinated in the state of Alaska. We still are in a very limited availability uh, situation right now. Essentially all of our December and January allocation has a place in a home that it's going to. We're just working through some last distribution doses and making sure every uh, last shot can get out as quickly as possible. We're also working quickly with the federal government to see what's gonna be coming in in our February allocation and making sure that we can continue that on a monthly basis uh, and continue to stay tuned as we update our website and continue to provide more information so Alaskans can more smoothly uh, get vaccinated as quick as possible. We have been moving up and uh, currently we're the third most vaccinated state uh, in the country. Uh, and it's great just to see those shots in arms as fast and fair as we possibly can. We get asked a lot on why do we need an appointment? Why can't I just show up? And some people have been able to do show up, but really uh, we have just such limited vaccine all around uh, that there's a couple reasons we are asking people uh, for appointments. We need to make sure that we've got space and time to monitor people for a minimum of 15 minutes, but for some people up to 30 minutes after they get vaccinated. And so that takes a little bit more space and time and we don't want vaccination to be a super spreader event with a bunch of people in one area. You can go to our covidvax.alaska.gov and that's where you can see both the eligibility criteria as well as be able to see appointments uh, if there's any available. Like I said, most are really full at this time as most of our January allocation has gotten out and we're working on starting to plan into February as of now. You're always welcome to call our number and we can happily make an appointment for you if one is available. And that is 907-646-3322. Again, that's 646-3322. And always remember, you can check with your local public health office as well as your emergency operations center uh, for more information on what may be happening locally in your area. Big shout out to the communities. There's been a ton of mass vaccination clinics that have been going on this week. And it's been great to see a lot of people getting vaccinated and just incredible coordination and volunteers at the local level really making this happen. So uh, thank you to all of the amazing partners across the state uh, getting vaccine uh, out as quickly as possible. So thanks for all you're doing. Remember, you can check out our website, that COVID vax. You can email us, uh, covid19vaccineinalaska.com. Remember that uh, using Chrome or Firefox or Safari uh, works much better than something like um, Internet Explorer or Edge. So just wanna make sure you're using the right browser. A question I get asked all the time is, you know, how well does this vaccine work? Is it safe? Is it efficacious? Right now, there's two vaccines that we're uh, uh, have in the state of Alaska. They're both mRNA vaccines. The data behind them is pretty fantastic. And if you have any questions or concerns, I'd really encourage you to take a look at the raw data uh, in the papers. This first slide on here is from the Pfizer vaccine. And the blue dots is the number of cases in the placebo group are people who just got a short shot of normal saline. And you can see that red line at the bottom is those who got the Pfizer vaccine. So for about the first 10 days after vaccination, it was pretty equal. You were seeing equal rates of people uh, with uh, COVID as well at, if they were in the placebo group versus if they were in the vaccinated group. But then you can see very quickly that changes. Uh, and essentially those who are vaccinated uh, stop getting uh, uh, COVID at the same rate. Remember that kind of first seven to 10 days probably got exposed earlier or very early on. And it takes a while for your body to build up that immune. But once your body has a good immune response uh, to the vaccine, we really don't see the same rates of COVID. And we see the same uh, data when we look at the Moderna vaccine. This gray line is the percent of people who had uh, COVID who got the placebo versus the blue line there is if they received the mRNA Moderna vaccine. 
it's just a few pictures of people getting vaccinated across the state. It's been great to see the partnership up around. Um, I love this picture on the right of both a healthcare provider getting his second shot and his mother getting uh, her first shot. So we'll continue to overlap tiers uh, just like we did for them on this day uh, as we get vaccine out again as quickly as we possibly can. One other uh, study that I just wanted to highlight for Alaskans, there was some new research out uh, and I have the link there on the bottom that really showed that about 50% of people uh, who have COVID-19 really don't have any symptoms. It's kind of a crazy disease that way. So many people do just absolutely fine and have no symptoms, um, but then it can really hit some people very, very hard. And unfortunately we're just experiencing a lot of death in our country right now, secondary to COVID-19. So with that, uh, make sure that you're wearing your mask, keeping your distance, washing your hands, uh, and making sure that you're taking care of each other, hoping that we can push those numbers down a bit longer while we get a bit more vaccine out as quickly as possible so that we're all able to care for each other and stay healthy and well uh, moving into the spring. So with that, have a great weekend, and we'll be back next week. Thanks so much.